Let's talk about audio setup in Jacktrip, okay? Whenever you join a studio, um, you are being asked to select the output device and the input device, right? Now this obviously depends on your individual setup, but let's talk about some of the details we can select here. So make sure that you refresh devices in case you have just connected an audio interface or something. Um, and let's start with the output device, okay? This is where you select where you want the audio to be sent to. In my case, uh, I have headphones and we highly recommend you use headphones. So if you have headphones, ideally with a cable, not Bluetooth for the latency, you wanna select the output here. In my case now, I have this audio interface that I have connected, right? So you can see that my headphones are coming out of that audio interface and I can actually select the volume of my headphones here. So I'm just gonna turn the digital volume all the way up and say uh, play test tone. And that's a relatively loud test tone, so I'm uh, lowering my output volume here. Um, and I am outputting to channels one and two, which makes sense, right? Why not have stereo output? Uh, I think in, in every case that is beneficial uh, to have. Let's talk about input, the input section. Let's start with my case again, right? I have a um, external microphone here that I have connected to that same U22 audio interface. So if you have an external audio interface, make sure to select that here as well. Uh, you might use your even things like your built-in microphone, which obviously doesn't have as good of a quality, but might be a start if you want to test jack trip. Um, so choose wherever your microphone or instrument is connected here. And then um, in my case, I actually recommend you turn the volume up all the way just to see what, um, what jack trip gets from your gain. And I'm gonna turn up my gain here. Actually, I'm already really loud, so I'm gonna turn it down again. So use this input device um, setup to also level your gain a little bit. Um, in my case, I do the gain on my audio interface. But if you have, um, uh, if you use some other, maybe your built-in or some digitally uh, controllable microphone, I recommend you go to Audio MIDI Setup on a Mac. And uh, for example, if I had this, you can uh, change the input um, gain here under your audio settings. Now, input channels. Okay, I can select one, two, and one and two, and I can switch between mono and stereo, it looks like. Why do I need to know about this and how does it affect how my audio is sent? In my case, my little audio interface has two inputs, right? It has one for a microphone and one called line-in for um, a guitar or something. So in my case, when I look at the input channels, I could either say, look, I only want to use input one for my mic or input two for my guitar, or I want to use both. Um, in my case, I don't have a guitar connected. I just have one microphone, so I'm just gonna say channel one, right? If you have connected something to channel two, feel free to select channel two if that's all you send. But essentially, I'm saying I just want this, and obviously, you know, I, I can't even select another option. It's gonna be sent in mono. I cannot send stereo if I only have one channel available. Stereo means two, mono means one. Um, but the detail here is that when I select mono, it means that it takes my one input and it automatically sends it to both uh, headphone outputs for all the other people, right, including myself. So we will hear my, my one microphone, not just on the left or on the right, we want to hear it on both. So that is uh, what the mono option means in this case. So what if I selected one and two? This is where it gets interesting and I wanna walk through two uh, different scenarios with you. First scenario, I have a microphone uh, attached to my first input channel here, and let's say I input a guitar on my second channel. In that case, I have two different instruments, and I don't want to have one instrument be played on everybody's left ear and the other one on everybody's right ear. Uh, I want them both to be treated like a mono source, right? Where my microphone on channel one should go to both outputs and my guitar should go to both out outputs. So I would say mix to mono, meaning both are appearing in the middle because both channels are different 
sources. Now, if you are a pianist, let's say, and uh, you have your piano with a stereo output and you're plugging channel one and channel two into your audio interface and now you want the great stereo uh, output, right? You want to have certain, uh, maybe the lower notes are appearing more on the, on the left and the higher notes on the right or the, the reverb is stereo. Um, there are some pretty good algorithms and, uh, and generally microphones that you can use to record stereo audio and not just mono. In that case, you would select stereo. And so what it would do now is it would say, oh, okay, you have two channels coming in here and you select stereo, so these belong together. So we'll just send the first channel to the left headphones and um, the second channel to the right channel of your headphones. Now, I wanna talk about a scenario where you have more than two channels. So let's say you play the piano or you, have, you play the drums and you have your two overheads, right? You, you have some sort of stereo sound that you wanna use, but then also you wanna talk to people, right? You, you need a microphone, you wanna communicate to people. Maybe you even have a whole drum set or you have a lot of audio inputs and um, you wanna make sure that all of this is getting mixed and sent to Jacktrip. Well, in such a case, we recommend that you get a mixing board. Um, those are relatively affordable if you get a cheap one. Here are a few examples. Um, and basically what it allows you to do is you can input all of your different sources and then you can make the mix that you desire, right? And then simply you connect that mixer to Jacktrip and you say, okay, now I just want to take these two channels and I want to send them in stereo just as I have mixed them before. Those were all the cases, so really it, it should be pretty straightforward. You select your output device, your input device, and you're ready to go. In the next video, we're going to take a brief look at Soundscapes, which is our audio processing uh, module, and I'm going to show you how you could position yourself and other Jacktrip musicians in a virtual space all around you. So I'll see you there.